Hey everybody, this is Dro from Grand Duel Studios, streaming to you live yet again. And today we're going to play this new game that I was playing last night around midnight called Star Ocean Divine Force. I don't know guys if you've ever seen a Star Ocean game or even played one. Um, it is a Square Enix favorite among a lot of players, although they have had some disappointing titles. But one of my favorites was The Last Hope and Faithless and uh, Faith and Integrity, or whatever it was called. I might be saying that wrong. Don't quote me. But that was alright too, although the storyline was kind of bland. The gameplay was there. Now, this is an anime type based game, so I mean, the graphics are going to be a little bit weird looking on this one. Uh, I did start it, and I'm not going to play from the beginning, because obviously I have no interest in starting all over and letting you see the thing. But as you can see, this is what it looks like. It looks a little funny. I mean, it looks like... <sighs> I, I don't know. I, I, I don't... I don't necessarily agree with the way their character models are, um, but it is, aside from how weird and wonky it looks, actually a pretty decent game. But they can do better. I've seen better from them. But I'm not going to judge too harshly. I'm sure it, it took the devs a lot of work to get through what they did and to be as innovative as they were. They did bring a lot of uh, old, uh, what do you call it, mechanics back. So, it was pretty, I mean, it's pretty bad. No, it's, it's not horrible, it's just not great. <laughs> Alright, um, but the gameplay is great. I do like the way they set it up. Um, they brought back blind sides, if you know what that is. Um, one of my favorite mechanics in the game, uh, they added a few new other features, like this robot floating around actually gives you powers and stuff, and it has its own skills. And like always, you have a skill tree, and you put points into the skill tree, you gain skill points, and you put the points in there. Um, what really sets it apart for me, though, it, what I like is that um, the battle is so smooth, in and out. Like, there's no... Uh, transition screen to another screen of battle. I mean, you battle right there wherever you go, and the maps are huge. Now, um, when they transition, um, you'll notice that the world map is not exactly the world map, it's just sections, which is fine. It works for the, uh, what it is. Uh, Navigation in the beginning is a little difficult until you get your little robot buddy here. Called Duma. Or D-U-M-A. It's a little rough before you get Duma. Um, treasure hunting is fun. Despite it being a little rough. I have to say that I spent... I didn't spend a whole lot jumping through the story and pushing myself through. I spent a lot of it <clears throat> just exploring, using the Duma ability, um, launching myself, jumping, running, all sorts of stuff, battling. It, it's been a lot of fun. So I have to say that aspect of the game, they they did spot on. Um, is it an HD 4K game? No. I mean, I'd say, well, it's, it's kind of HD-ish, but it's not 4K. So... Um, whatever they're trying to sell you absolutely not um, I believe that you have a choice on your graphics whether you want to prioritize the image quality or if you want to prioritize uh, the FPS <clears throat> which look not that I, I have high expectations of anybody or anything like that but I mean generally should even have this choice it should be like equal parts always no matter what. That's, to me, what decides a game. You can't sit there on a console. Now, if it was a computer game, yes. Perfect. Computer is perfect, but when you're talking about console, we need to understand it. We need to let people understand that, in my opinion, and in a lot of other people that I've talked to's opinion, um, 
when it comes to console, there should only be one setting, whether it's HDR or not. That's it. If it's not 4K, it's just HD, that's fine. But uh, to prioritize and put more energy and memory into one quality as opposed to the other is kind of a little off. Um, and it's it and to me it's kind of ridiculous. And you can disagree if you want to. Um, if you do, just uh, shoot me a message. But uh, if they are going to do something like this, uh, there needs to be a middle ground. All right. So as opposed to prioritizing one quality over other. Um, have a middle ground. Normal. There you go. Poof. The issue that I was talking about is completely done and over with. Now, why am I judging this game harshly? Because I paid $60 in taxes, um, along with it, to buy a game that I want. So, I will be harsh. Um, not to say I don't respect the developers. Like I said, there are good things. Gameplay is there. Gameplay is there. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about it, but let's give it a shot and you guys can decide what you think about it. Um, oh, you looking for a all right, let's go ahead and walk outside. Hmm. The story of transitioning. So here's another issue that I have. All right. The main character, um, you get two main characters, but this main character's hair, <laughs> um, it's kind of weird. It does, it, it's like, um, uh, how do I explain it in words that, it kind of has a, a spot where it's stuck. It looks like it's wavy, but if he pushes his head down like this, his hair sticks up from the very back, and that pisses me off. I don't know about you, but I don't like it. I haven't liked it since the earlier games when they started doing 3D models, and I still don't like it now. It is annoying as hell. Oh, I know where your kitty's at. I'll find the kitty for you. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and get the kitty for her. Kitty should be up on this rooftop here. Yep. Alright. No! Alright, kitty, I got you. I saw some treasure on that rooftop. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, another cool thing they added. Alright, aside from the negativity that I've thrown out there. I mean, these are things that people will want, and I'm not trying to be mean about it. If, if you're going to make a game and sell it for $60, you can at least listen to the concerns of your player base. And while I am a huge Star Ocean fan, um, there are things that do need to be fixed, I admit. I'm not going to sit there and be blind about it. Um, not to say that it's not good in its own right, I'm just saying. Um, for a Japanese game to sit there and hold the Square Enix uh, mantle, which Square Enix has disappointed me, but they do have excellent quality games. If you're gonna hold the mantle of a Square Enix game, you need to catch up. You need to bring the game, a game, you need to be a triple A title. Period. Hmm. Take this over running deliveries any day. Thank you so much for finding the 
Uh, I think uh, the voice acting is another thing that drives me a little bit bonkers. Alright, I'm not trying to haze. Please, please. Don't think... I right, Look, I don't think I can do better personally. <laughs> I'm just going based on a consumer aside. I think um, game making is amazing. Alright, I'm not going to throw anybody under the bus. I know I'm going back and forth, but hey, look, listen. As a consumer, I expect a certain set of quality. Especially for the amount of money that you guys are pulling, especially during a recession. Now, luckily, this game was not $70, because if they would have charged me $70 for this game, I would have flipped the fuck out. Is something wrong? Trouble sleeping? Yeah, yeah, a little. I've been taking walks till I get tired. My apologies. I should not be burdening you with our troubles. Hey, I'm the one who said we should join up. I would have never been able to take care of food and lodging by myself. So don't be shy. Let me help you, too. <laughs> well, if you insist on it, then. a girl. We don't need more than one negative Nelly around. Albert's got us covered there. I am the reason he remains so troubled. Please try not to think ill of him. No, no, no. I know. I know. I guess he's, uh, been through a lot, right? All those worries that turn anyone's smile upside down. Do you feel no need to inquire to fill in said details? Where we are is within the kingdom. And Albert's always wary of the Empire. The princess of said kingdom is sneaking around looking for a banished wise man. I can imagine said details. There's bound to be bumps in the road ahead. Let's at least enjoy the quiet while we can, princess. Might I then ask something of you? Sure, name it. Could you refrain from calling me by my royal title and use only my name? I gotta think that's gonna make Albert a little mad. Yes, well, we are undercover, and this would make things enjoyable for me. Do you agree, Ray? Yep, gotcha. Excellent. Now, with that off my chest, I do believe I shall return and rest. You would do well to do the same. You got it. Good night, Leticia. Yes. Have a good night, Ray. Alrighty, let's head back to the inn. Oh, and hey, do you think I could keep using this weapon? Of course. Consider it yours. There is also a merchant within the village. Shall we take a look tomorrow? Sounds good. Gotta be ready for anything around here. Alright. I think I'm finally getting tired. Guess I will head back. Alright, uh, let's see. Flip, 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 flip. <laughs> All right, anything else going on here? I think I got every single treasure I can think of. All right, let's use the scan ability one more time just to make sure there's no... Nothing here for those chickens here. Ah, yes. I knew that reading was the kitty. I had a really strange feeling that it was. Because there was a reading that was driving me nuts. I could not put my finger on it. I was like, oh, I'm so mad. Excuse me. Uh, should probably stop wandering and get back to the end. Yeah, yeah. Hey, can't sleep either, huh? I'm simply thinking. I'm not trying to curry favor. Hey, buddy, we're traveling companions. Stop button heads with me. Silence your tongue. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's late, so silence your tongue. Okay? Don't want to blow your cover now. Her highness attracts much attention, including those of your age. Outwards, it may be best for royalty to be cordial with commoners, but such friendliness makes her vulnerable. 
You know you're not gonna change her by being the other type, right? The issue lies in the fact that no one other than me cares to remonstrate her. Wes, you've been through a lot, all right? You gotta get some rest. Her Highness said she could not sleep, so she went walking. I must be prepared to aid her should anything unfortunate happen. I see. Very diligent. It is my sworn duty as a king's guard. Now go sleep instead of loitering about like some lacquer. You bother me. Yeah, that's real nice. Damn, man. You don't have to be so ruthless. Yeah, he's an asshole. Anyone home? Alright, so we got past this section where they're supposed to go to bed. I cannot wait to show you the battle. Um, it is fun. Well, since I got a good night's rest. <sighs> it's so funny because I still don't think that his face matches his like body. Dude's jacked, okay? He's probably the most Jack Star Ocean play, uh, main character I've ever seen. Usually they're very s s thin and anime-like, and they got your typical anime body. I'll give him that. I'll give him respect for that. It, it, it was, uh, although it's a little weird, I can live with the fact that they went above and beyond the muzzle. I call it muzzle. Morning. Before we head out, I just wanted to thank you again. So thanks. Albert. Good morning to you too, Ray. So, uh, where exactly are we headed? I kind of forgot. The mining town of Delk, which lies far to the south. Once we reach it, take stock of our situation. Oh, right, right. Sorry, this is the first time I've had a good night's sleep in a while. I'm still not quite with it yet. Then you'll have yourself to blame if you are attacked. All right, Dupag. Oh yeah, we're supposed to get some items. Merchant. We may be in the middle of the but we stop here centuries. Have a look. Let's see what they got. Uh, do I have anything that's better than what I got? No. And neither do they. Armor. Nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing I really want. Most of the stuff that I usually find doesn't really help me unless it, it's basic equipment. <clears throat> Thanks. Accessory wise, I don't buy accessories until probably the second town that I usually go to. It's just a rule of thumb for me. I feel like accessories are really too? expensive. Let us be on our way. Is Delbert Village far from here? It is. The Delvia region ahead is vast. I would wager even a seasoned traveler would consider it quite a distance. Great. You're not by chance hiding another mode of transportation, are you? We have Duma with us, do we not? Now then, our destination lies to the south. Alright. Let's see if we can pick a fight real quick. To the south we go. I did not see Come. that we item. For the region of Delvia. In the southbound from our current position, I believe. Roger that. Oh, very excited. The enemy is before us. <laughs> Neutralized. 
beautiful. I wonder why I missed that before. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going south, so... And there is an area here. That doesn't look good. I guess I should say before I run into this monster, just in case. He looks a little big. Just a little. Let's get it underway! Oh, hell no. Straight up damage. What is with this? Alright, let's use an item. Uh, blueberry potions, kind of thing. Oh, you mother fluffer! Obviously. He's not doing the same move over and over again, mother fluffer. You're getting really fucking annoying. <sighs> and I ran out of revives. I guess you should have prepared better for this. Oh well, no biggie. annoying. Glad I saved. Ah, ring mail. Let's see what else we got. Okay. Fine. Be that one. Oh, hit the edge of the map. See, not completely open world. Although, I don't exactly mind that either, I suppose. Hmm. See if there's any treasures around here, too. Ooh. Honestly, I don't think that boss fight was exactly necessary. If 
I think the only reason that boss fight, uh, boss fight was there for was the, for the chainmail that I still have not put on my body. Eh, why not take a look at it? Let's see what we get. <sighs> no, it's not here. I could have sworn I got chain mail. Or was it ring mail? Oh, wrong person. Tenacity as well. enough for skill. Skill tree. What are we gonna get? Hmm. So much to do. Alright. Sometimes I feel lost. Sometimes the area is just so big, I just can't figure out where I'm going. I don't have to worry about any more boss fights, do I? Enemies up ahead. Get Woo. All right, 
Is there a treasure chest? Like, for me, I think the scan is perfect because I'm kind of, like, blind. <laughs> well, I mean, kind of, like, more like half blind. Very well, I shall tell you. Continue your current southern course. Okay, kind of spooky. How did you know I was going to ask you for directions? I merely read the look of confusion written upon your face. Enemies, dead! Where is my son get the jumper? Destroyed. Cut them to ribbons! Oh, you thought you were going to get me. Ah, come on. Hmm, what else we got going on here? Aside from the obvious ass weapons I've been handing people out left and right. That's right. Ass weapons. Alright, so what do we got here? Hmm. Not to be a pain, but are we almost to the Delvere region? Almost. Whoa, 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 what was all that? How dare you hit me in the face with all that? Gave me the two wings and a biscuit with all those seed shots. Felt like I was playing Final Fantasy X and fighting one of those fucking plants. My AP went right back down because I got sabotaged. Alright. Sweet. Sweet indeed. Let's see what else we got going on there. Like I said, the gameplay is awesome. I love the gameplay. A couple of things, uh, uh, you know, mostly graphic issues and polish issues. Gameplay wise, it's there. I'm not a huge fan of like the character models, but like I said, it's an all around good game. I mean, it's what you would hope for for any kind of Star Ocean game, honestly. Hmm. Starting off, it's getting darker. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Alright, I really need to fight an enemy that's not gonna mess me up like this. I wanna bring back all that action points that I had earlier. I got robbed. Thanks to Seed, dude. I 
think I might have enough points for another Duma skill. Think. Not sure. Hmm. Minus 20% VA gauge reduction when blocking up the hill. No. See, I can left that. But who said I can't have both, right? Well, they said it. I'm kind of missing two. Alright. That should be good. Finally crossed into Delvir territory. Ooh, that took quite some time. Sure did. Let's keep on keeping on, I guess. I mean, it doesn't Delver even feel like it's been an hour, right? First, however, we must continue farther south. <laughs> <laughs> Energy levels destroyed. Threat neutralized. It is a little creepy that some of the monsters talk. I'm not gonna lie. I was fighting, <laughs> and they talk to themselves when you're like they don't notice where you are. Like earlier, I was on top of uh, a ruined building, and the monster, uh, the goblins were in some, like the bottom inside. And you can hear them talking to themselves. I'm like, what the hell? Are they talking about me? No, they're just talking to themselves. Heaven, it's before us. I am with you. fighting in my future and I see that they're hurting and I am not going to heal them because I'm an asshole. Okay, I'm not an asshole. Can I just fight these? Oh, they respawn. Okay. That's fair. I don't want to fight them anymore. They were beating the hell out of me. What else we got here? Dude, I feel like I just did one big circle though. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, I did pretty much a circle. One big. No wonder I haven't been fighting you. I'm uh, finding your items. Thank God for maps, right? So yeah, like it may not be open world, but man, the maps are big. Sides like no other. Ooh. 
Okay, I think that's enough points that I can actually put it into my Dua. Now, this evasion gain, gain 20% of the get like perfect way of avoiding an attack. Mm. No, I'm going to go with a uh, straight extend stun lock. And then I'm just going to level those up, because honestly, that's the best way to go about this. And I forgot to equip that skill. Boom. Yeah, I kind of made the mistake because I didn't realize that Extender and Silencer were in the same, but then I was like, you know what? It doesn't matter. Because if I ever like want to go out and start leveling and I'm not actually looking for items with the Extend skin, I'll be good to go. So it's not a it's not a huge loss. But this battle skills, I'm sticking with the three that I want most. I don't see a point in putting points into anything else, especially since I have to go through all this. Hell no. Alright, no. No, no, no. I know, I want to explore, I want to run around, I want to battle. But let's not go in circles. Looking for this. Haha. <laughs> These blind sides are awesome. Oop. Oh, I think I should overshot a little bit. Just a little bit. Backwards? I don't know what the hell was that exchange between the asshole and I. Well, I was pretty sure I was going the right way. You just did that. He's probably pissy because I'm letting him die. That's what it is. He's just upset. This jerk face is trying to kill me. There we go. Sometimes you just gotta get higher ground to see where the hell you're going. Can receive blessings for offering Hermes Lily Hermes lilies found somewhere on the map. After offering visit once food benefits have worn off the game at random effect. Okay, well. Don't have any Hermes lilies. Thanks for letting me know. Appreciate it. Thank you, bye! This may be the wrong way. This time. I believe this path leads to the seaport. Ugh, this place is freaking huge. Of course I'm gonna get lost. 
<sighs> South it is then. I feel like I'm getting lost so much as I'm just exploring. But okay, whatever. It's all good. I'm not mad at you. I hope they have a pretty decent crafting system. Hmm. Where to next? Albert, get your schnitz together. What the are you doing? Do I have to teach you how to play this game? I barely know how to play it myself. Goodness gracious, what am I going to do with you? His characters, right? Yeah. I would say he's an NPC, but he's not. Embarrassingly enough. No! Alright, fine. I'll just go this way. It's probably easier to go up than it is to go down. There's a treasure chest up there. Give me treasure. Come on. You climb up there, buddy. There you go. How dare you try to lose me, sir. Nothing else here, to say for sure. What does my map say? I should probably take a right. Blind sides in that one. I think I'm starting to get how it works now. Man, am I still tired? I feel even worse for my significant other. She had to get up earlier than me. And that one, we can't sleep for nothing. Borrow her? I call it at work. Oh, you son of a bitch. Hmm. Like, from what I've noticed, you can blindside monsters that you're not even targeting as well. Which I like, because usually um, when you do blind sides in other games, it's kind of like... Ooh. You have to go like around them, but if you can blindside multiples at once, you can take full on advantage. Especially with the stun lock effect. So you don't get jumped from the side or anything like that. I would hate for that to happen to me. Village over there? We finally made it. It was quite the adventure.
Woot! Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Talk about bustling. Well, Delric is the largest and most productive mining town in the kingdom. Don't expect us to go looking for you if you get lost. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what's our next move? First thing tomorrow morning, we go pay a visit to the resident Eatromancer. Eatromancer? A rare breed of specialized semiomancer. They are charged with mending people's wounds and treating their ailments. And we're paying this person a visit because they likely know where Midas is? Yes, it is likely, but... But... Never mind, it matters not. What matters, though, is getting some much-needed rest. Alright, all that yawning made me all teary-eyed. I know I'm tired. You look like you're up for a game of a How about a quick match? I would love to, but I don't have any solo deck. Alright, trying to be Link and destroy some pots. <laughs> Okay, that's weird. Maybe I shouldn't be walking in people's houses so randomly. Ah, it's an inn. Okay, see you around. Oops, sorry about that. It's quite all right. You're not hurt, are you? Oh, I'm fine. Never seen you here before. If you're feeling under the weather, don't hesitate to drop by the infirmary. The Iatromancer there is one of the best in the business, so you'll be in good hands. Alright, gotta run. That was strange. I know what happened. You were probably making one of your faces, and she assumed you were on death's door. Perhaps I was. Were you and her highness not such a handful, though, I wouldn't have to make any face. Ooh, hear that? Sounds like he's bad-mouthing you. Only because you go him, reap what you have sown by yourself. Keep me out of it. Sweet! Oh, there's a triangle here for a reason. Treasure? I need to stop. I'm always running off. I'm not doing what I'm supposed to. Do the exploring later. It is nighttime. Follow the storyline. Follow the story. Don't jump into the crazy zone. Sorry, I'm feeling a little loopy today. Really loopy. Uh. Alright, give me a second, wait. Cancel, leave in, no meal, stay in, eat vegetable stir fry. Earth resistant plus 20, 15% takes play, blah blah blah. That is not too. Alright, I'll take that. Why not? Oh, thank you, old lady. I must say, you set a very fine table. Boom, 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 boom. All right, if it's not daytime by the time I go out here, I'm gonna call Bud right. Nanas. Now, how do we find this so-called theatromancer? Enquire of the townsfolk. I can think of no other way. Huh. I suppose you're right. Maybe one of them knows something about Chloe, too. Oh, travelers! Welcome to Delbert Village. Is this your first visit? I see. So you want to know where the infirmary is? 
At west from here, we've come to a large hill. The uh, infirmary is just up the slope. You feeling all right? If not, I'm certain Dr. Marcus can cure what ails you. Give the doc my regards when you see it. So, <laughs> wrong with this guy? My meal was getting ready to set off in an excellent mood. Then I was attacked by a massive swarm of insects. What to do? Oh, you folks could hold your own against them, I'm sure. Could I trouble you to get rid of those nasty bugs? I'd be truly grateful. Gluttonous worm, huh? Why do those insects ignore everyone else and just go for me all the time? I don't know, maybe you're carrying something that attracts me. In a world full of monsters, you can never be too careful. Just saying. You look like you're up for a game of a soa. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I always just talk to you. I don't really have much else to say. No exclamation marks anywhere, so I don't think I need to do any quests here. Let's check up here. Ooh, treasure. These pots breaking. Yes, they are. Oh, you. Sweet. Yep. Now. I know that, you know, I feel a little linkish today. I feel like breaking pots, but to be fair, I wasn't in anybody's home when I did it. So, it's all fair game. I was being polite. As an adventurer, though, I think I would have a hard time doing what I do in video games in, like, real life settings. All things considered, I don't think I would be able to walk into some random person's home and just start breaking things. Or searching through their drawers. I don't know, there has to be like some sort of etiquette. Keep you from doing crazy stuff like raiding people's homes while they're living in there or going up to random people and talking to them even though you don't know them. Hold on. Man, I really do like the exploration system in this game. I honestly can say that it's a lot better than the previous ones. I'm going to rank that a 10. So I'm going to say the sound quality is great. I'd say it's about an 8, 9. In the beginning it was kind of if, but um, a lot of the, the songs match where you're at. Um, graphics, I'd say, eh, I'd give it about an 8 as well. Gameplay, solid 10. I love the gameplay. Especially because I'm a big fan of RPGs and I have played RPGs my whole life. I can honestly say that in the beginning stages. Now, I don't know how repetitious this is going to be. But, I mean, all RPGs are kind of grindy. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Those don't break. Exploration? Awesome. I think there's a lot to explore. Um, giving you <clears throat> giving you an opportunity to level up your little companion here by traveling. That's a good incentive to explore and look for things. So I'm going to have to give that a solid 10 as well. Overall, I'd say the game's like an 8.5. I think uh, there's a lot of things that can be done better, but for the most part, it looks good. Uh, voice acting, eh, I, want, I want to give it a good grade, but then there was that moment where, uh, in the beginning, and like I said, this is solidly in the beginning, the, uh, the Leticia, I believe? Her voice acting was kind of robotic. Um, and it is still a little bit robotic. I mean, despite being royalty, uh, 
future reference for any would-be voice actors, um, you can be prim and proper without sounding like you are programmed to be prim and proper. We're all humans. Um, yes, I understand that. Like the, the point is that you want your character to have a bit of an air about them. Like <clears throat> They are pristine. They are noble upbringing. Um, but noble upbringing does not mean that you don't have personality. It just means that you speak proper and that you have a tone. That's it. Not robot, just a toe. Is that a finger? Are you pointing at me? Alright, got this. Oh, see? I'm glad I actually explored up here. I thought I was wasting my time, but I was not. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. Not that I'm a professional voice actor, I just know what I'm looking for in sound. Like I said, not trying to be judgy, even though I am being a little judgy. Just not trying to be. Okay, there's a, there's a difference. Oh, wow. See, when I was up on the lower rooftops, I thought that was all there was, but there's actually a whole lot more. Okay. Whoa, no. I missed that jump so hard. <clears throat> oh, goodness. Yes. Yeah. Doom, I'm doing this for you! Please give me some sort of super flying ability. Jeez. Alright, I think that's it for this side. I doubt I can go further than that. I knew there was something in there. When you've been playing as long as I have, you kind of figure in what may or may not be in this game. Are you serious? Up there? Come on. Give me a break. These poor people are like watching me. They're like, what the hell is that guy doing? I don't mind, man. I'm just exploring. Just looking for things to stabbing. Find. Yeah, you guys don't need any of this stuff. Oh, no. Why did that happen? Well, I didn't pass any treasure chests, I don't think. Target sighted. Oh, shnit. I am missing treasure, aren't I? Target sighted. Oh. Target sighted. This is a pretty big town. I actually thought it was going to be a lot smaller. <gasps> you son of a bee! It's the kitty. That's that's. It did it to me again. Target. No, no, it can't be the kitty. Don't jump to conclusions. Uh, what? Yeah, it has to be the kitty. Target sighted. Of course, there's no real way to tell because this is a hype base, but if I had to make a wild guess. You know what? F that wild guess. My guess has made nothing!
did I do? Man? How many points did I get you through that whole escapade of me traveling around and talking to myself for the longest time? Ooh, 71 Duma points. That means I have enough to get the Extend Stun Lock. What's the Guardian anyway? Oh, use a shield. General awareness confirmed. I should probably equip that. Why do I keep on doing that? Nice. All right, Duma. I got you a bunch of points, and I have hit my one-hour mark. All right, guys. I think this is pretty much uh, this is pretty much it for this game. If you guys want to see more, you can tell me. Uh, just hit my uh, Twitter page up and tell me if you want to see it or not. Um, like I said, I'm always up for suggestions. If you do like this game, you can jump on to whatever game I'm playing at the time while I'm live and be like, hey, why aren't you playing this game? What's up? You don't like it? I like it. Go ahead and review it. Well, I already reviewed it. Well, go ahead and play it. We want to watch. We want to hear you talk. We want to see you play. Blah, 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 blah. You know, the, the whole nine yards. Anyways. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, this game is pretty good. I I would recommend it to any RPG lover and or Star Ocean fan who has enjoyed the series throughout the whole time that they've been out. Um. It's a Square Enix game, and you get what you get. Um, what you see is a pretty solid RPG, semi-decent graphics, great exploration. Um, the battle's fun. Uh, I like how they set up the battle system. It's very smooth transition between battles. Um, I haven't got too far into it, so I don't know how boring it gets or how rep repetitive it is. But for what it is, it is a game that I would suggest to any normal RPG lover out there. Um, like I said, I have a few disagreements with the way things look. But it grows on you. It's not like you, um... It's not like you just keep on, like, actively looking at it. Unless that's all that matters to you. But, I mean, if, you, if that's all that matters to you, don't play games. I'm just saying it's one aspect that bothers me. Especially given the pr uh, price that you pay for, I think that there should be more bang to the buck as far as graphics are concerned. It could have easily been worth $70 or anything of that nature had it been polished the way it should have. Um, it's not perfect, but it's good enough, and it is a solid RPG, though. Just saying. Um, and I'm not a professional reviewer. I'm a professional gamer. Alright, and when I say professional, I don't mean competitive, I mean I professionally am streaming this to you, and I have been playing video games for a very, very long time. Uh, since I was six or, uh, six or seven, and considering that I am pretty old, let's just say I have 30 years experience playing games since way back when, and it's been non-stop. So I think that's... I think it's uh, safe to say that I'm pretty professional. Not the best. Just saying. I just know my shit. Know my stuff. So, anyways. I'm not trying to uh, pro uh, prove my credentials. I mean, the proof is in the pudding anyway. You guys have seen my gameplay. And if you have not, I have a YouTube channel with all my Twitch streams that you can check out. Um, I'm not trying to sell you anything. There's no ads or anything like that. That's just basically saying, hey, you know what? Twitch only holds my uh, stuff for a certain amount of time. Go check out the YouTube if you want to go back and see the other ones. I did a long series starting off with this stream of Cyberpunk 2077. So you can take a look at that. Um, I'm no longer playing 2077. Uh, I, I just won't. I already beat the game once on stream. Spoiler alerts, if you don't want to uh, watch the storyline on there, do not watch me play it. Absolutely not. 
I played it from the beginning to end because it is a game that I thought was um, had a great story, great gameplay. I do recommend it uh, to anybody who likes FPS and RPGs put together or both. Uh, if you're a fan of games like that, um, like Skyrim or Fallout, that is the game for you. I promise you. <clears throat> Other than that... Um, uh, I also have the Gotham. If you haven't watched my uh, my channel already, if you have, thanks for watching. But anyways, I have Gotham Knights on as well. I'm working through that. I'm not gonna play it straight to the storyline the whole way. Um, I will play that on my off time. Uh, there's just certain games that I would do that to. Cyberpunk was just a special one in my heart. But I will try to categorize them for you guys on the YouTube channel like a playlist. So I have my Cyberpunk playlist. I have my Gotham Knights playlist. Um, if you do guys, if you guys do like this one, I'll even create a playlist for this one, and I will play and jump into the storyline. What else is there? Um, pay attention. I'm uh, if you are following me uh, on Twitter, I will announce if I do have a website coming up. Uh, I, I have a lot of things that I have to do. Uh, I did explain to you previous stream that what I'm, I plan on doing um, in order to implement it it's going to take some time it's going to take some money I'm not asking you for money I have the money it's just it's just going to take some uh, take a minute all right so I'm working the inflation has been affecting everybody especially the, us poor folk <clears throat> so keep that in mind but trust me I want the plan to be a reality and I will flesh out the details on how I'm going to do it and I'll get, let you guys know ahead of time uh, to check it out. But uh, I won't try to advertise it. That is against Twitch uh, guidelines and something. I'm not advertising it at all. Oh, it is not a uh, non-profit. So there is profit involved. I'm not going to say that I'm only going to focus on for-profit. My focus is on you guys, um, artists people who actually like to create things content creators such as I and everybody else and their mother <laughs> anyways it's become long-winded but that's that's the plan I'm not gonna speak any more of it I don't want to be the dead horse and I don't want to bore you with the details what I do want you to know is that I appreciate you guys watching I appreciate the support that you guys give me don't forget to follow oh don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out my other pages to know more details about what I'm doing on twitch because this is my main support here all right this is my main thing so come check me out. I am Dro from Genjo Studios. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome, everybody. Bye!